Hello! Today I'd like to do a little bit more doodling with noodles. And here I've got some scrumptious noodles. We have a variety of colours of noodles today. Now the noodles are one and a half inch strips of fabric um, cut right across generally the width of fabric, although of course sometimes noodles are cut shorter. So um, for me noodles are one and a half inch strips of fabric and I just love to play around with fabric, I love to play around with designing things. So we're just going to show you some, just another little idea of something you might do with one and a half inch strips. So today I'm going to show you how to make a little um, block, which you make a kind of a positive and negative. So this is the block here. So for those of you who know the traditional log cabin block, this started out being a log cabin, but it kind of got stuck part way. It didn't finish its journey. It's quite a cute little block. We're starting in with a square in the center and when you pop another one on the side and I'll make one up in just a minute. Um, and so you need to make some, if you're going to do what I'm doing, with if we talk about white as my sort of alternate color in the center and then some with the color in the center and then the white surround so that you get this, the two different ones. So we'll start off by sewing one of these little blocks just to show you how to put it together. So because my strips were one and a half inches wide, I've cut a square, so that's a one and a half inch square. And then I need to sew it to, for the next round, which is going to be white, to a, a one and a half inch square. So we just start off doing that, just using a quarter inch seam allowance, and just build up the block from the center outwards, just going round and round, basically. And it's a little bit tedious when you're doing these little things because I do like to press as I go. But I'll just bring the iron over here and leave it over here, I think. So I'm just going to press that seam um, into the colour, although it doesn't really matter which way it goes too much on this one. And I'll just bring these bits over here. So now that's my centre, and now I need to put the next piece on is going to be twice that long, so it's going to be cut two and a half inches. Um, and that one goes across the top there. I find it quite a good way to sew blocks together is to lay the block out like this and build it out so that I make sure I'm not putting the wrong piece in the wrong place. It's very easy when you're turning blocks around all the time to, to get it wrong. So I'm just going to press that piece now. It's a fun little block. Um, and I think it um, is going to look really cute when it's all sewn up into a quilt. So now the next piece is also two and a half inches long and that's going to go across the end there. So we're hoping to end up with that little purple square in the centre of a white square. And back to the iron again. And now the piece across the bottom is now going to go over the, the three bits, so it actually needs to be cut three and a half inches long. So we're getting a little bit bigger as we go out. So this will be a little three and a half inch square at this stage now. And of course that, that would be an option to stop here and make little blocks like this, um, alternating the colour and the white. And so you could have a white in the middle and the colour on the red outside and that would be a nice little block too. But today I'm going to continue on. Um, I'd like to add just two more sides onto this. So this was a three and a half inch. The first one on the next one is also three and a half inches because it's just going over the three strips. So we'll pop that on there. a quick press I've been indulging my liking for all these dots I think lately I do like these dotty fabrics now the next strip that goes across there is actually going to be cut at four and a half inches so we'll just pop that one on there and that's the end of the block as far as I've been using it for this little project So as I said, you could alternate, you could start with the white centre and 
then a colored square and then you'd have these last two would be white um, like I've got on this block here so you could start with a color in the middle or, or a white and alternate them and so what you'll end up with um, what I'm most likely am going to do with these I'll just lay them out just to give you an idea you might think of something else to do but I thought this looked really cute so if I join all those that way and kind of make a block like that and then with the ones that have got the color on the outside rather than the white the same thing um, as we've done and when you put them all together you'll end up with this really neat kind of coming and going with the colors and the white and things um, I just thought that was another little idea that you could use for the one and a half inch strips and um, there may be lots of other things you could do with that but that's what I think I'll do with mine and so just doodling with noodles is so much fun and thank you